Hey everyone, today is May the 1st, 2021 and it is Saturday evening, the time is now 9, I want to say like 9. Hello! <laughs> um, so it's Saturday evening and guys, I am, I'm angry, I'm upset. I'm angry at what is happening in Diana. I have a it, it's a it's a, a righteous anger that is rising up in me um because of what has transpired and what continues to transpire in the nation in the nations actually. The enemy's on a war path, he's on a rampage because his time is short. We are in the last days. That is why I encourage you guys in every one of my videos. I try my best to encourage, you know, my viewers to give their lives to Jesus. Those who are thinking about it, stop wasting time and choose who you'll serve. Either you serve the Lord for the rest of your life or you're not going to serve the Lord for the rest of your life. But remember that when the body goes back to the dust that it belongs to the earth, our spirits live on, our soul lives on. Soul don't die. And you have to think about where you're going to spend eternity. Do you want to spend it with the Lord or you don't want to spend it with the Lord? So that is your choice and that is the most important decision that you will ever make in your life beyond what school you will go to or what career path you will have or who you will choose who you will marry and all these things and that is the most important decision so i don't know if you are, have been paying attention to what's been happening especially to women in guyana um it's been years of you know domestic issues it's plagued it has plagued Guyana for years. It has plagued the Caribbean for years because um, I'm going to segue a little bit. Even in Jamaica, I've been, you know, keeping up with Jamaican news and stuff. And lately, women and children and the elderly have been attacked and murdered. Like, the crime rate has gone up. And in Guyana, you know, there's always been domestic issues um, between husband and wife, boyfriend and girlfriend, with the boyfriends or the husbands always end up killing their wives and probably killing themselves or trying to harm themselves or pretending to want to harm themselves. And, um, you know, this whole thing with Shauna, the, the crazy thing about it is that the Dover girl, I am familiar with her relatives, her family, because her grandmother and my mom are friends. I've known each other for years. I grew up around her grandma. I remember her coming to our house and stuff. And because her and my mom were our church sisters. So uh, she was by us, you know, when we were home this past um, December. And I remember seeing her grandmother in the video with mommy and, um, you know, it's really sad to see what has happened to uh, this young life, beautiful girl, and to see that her life was cut short in such a heinous way. And the people who are supposed to love and love her, you know, um, her boyfriend, he ran away. I, I don't know. No one knows where he is. Um, and then her little sister who's in custody, you know, as part of the, oh my goodness, like, and then her, her, her boyfriend's father, who they arrested him for, um, aiding, you know, um, telling his son what to do with her, her, her dead body instead of being a responsible father as he ought to be when your son comes to you and tells you something like oh i shot and killed my girlfriend you're gonna go tell your son to bury her allegedly what what kind of nonsense is that some of these men hmm, these big men they feel like them and the children are friends you know they're not being parents 
they're not parenting their children the way that they ought to and the Bible says to raise up your child in the way that he shall go he or she shall go so that when they get old they will not depart but some of these parents they you know they are so mm, they're so slack I thank God for the way that my mom raised me you know although she, she had to work and you know it's been it was her and God <laughs> I am really thankful for her strict ways and um, her no nonsense. It's only now that she's got a little old. She got she got a little older that she's a little softer. But my mom didn't play with me, and I'm thankful for it. But these parents, they playing around with their kids. You, you, he, he bailed out his son. His son was arrested at the age of 17 hmm? for having illegal drugs in his possession. You look at his picture, mm? you could tell that he's one of them regular boys. You know, there's some of those little Guyanese boys that like to operate like the the, the, the foreign ones, the ones that live like they from New York or, or whatever. I don't know what type of, I don't know how they perceive this place to be, but some of them act like that. I just saw a video of his music uh, career or he was trying to be a rapper and it was all about violence and drugs and cooking up cocaine and, and cutting off your neck and shooting you and sleeping with your girl and uh, the nonsense, absolute ridiculousness and they're trying to tell me that 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 this this thing is so is is 19 it's a teenager a young adult look at this by face look at this by face he look like he been there for like 40 years already anyway the can't find me he gone i just heard um a conversation between him and somebody in french guyana he begging the person to get him over there he is gonna um throw away everything he ain't got nothing guy that that is worth it he got a little money and he he begging the friend for a bligh he could go stay by the friend and because everybody gonna look at you as the suspect and blah 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 blah, blah. after you don't know you shoot the girl and bury the girl in the backyard he done got his exit strategy planned out moon does run till they catch it you know moon around till they catch it and yaga and then now I read um, as I was coming home from work I, I signed on to Facebook and I signed on to Travis Chase's page and he posted a live video of a young woman another young woman 32 years old oh my goodness a mother she's a mother of either four or six children and her boyfriend the person she was living with stabbed her to death in the presence of her son mm, because he she allegedly was cheating on him and because she denied it they got into argument so he felt the need to stab this woman and kill this woman but you know what what made me angry be, what made me what what hurt right what hurt was in the live when her brother came to her and he saw her laying there on the back step not the back step the back by the back part and the man started ball the, ba the brother started ball people like I never hear a man ball and scream so <laughs> Good night, good night, good night. Good night, yeah, good night. Good night everybody. Um, and she's on the on the veranda there. Um, EMT technicians are examining her, her body as you are currently viewing. I do not know I do not know at this point the circumstances 
surrounding the murder and as soon as I get all that information correct I will let you know but I will make an attempt to speak with a relative Police have arrived on the scene. Ah! I will get all the information for you in a bit, but this is the scene right now. Durban Street. I'll get the correct address, everything for you in a bit. I will make an attempt to. speak with a relative of Nicola so this is on Durban Street Oh, you're 14 years old, right? Yeah. You're 14. Okay, I wouldn't show your face because you're 14, right? Yeah. Uh, what's the name of the woman? Um, Nicola Suana Wilson. Nicola Suana Wilson? Yeah. Tell me what happened. Um, first, I went downstairs, forget it. Speak by loud. You went downstairs? Uh -huh. Forget it by a phone call. Uh -huh. And then I hear my mother shouting. Uh -huh. And then I run upstairs. Oh, it's your mother? Yeah. Nicola Suana Wilson. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then he, um, I tried to stop him, but then he continued joking. Who's he? he? Um, my stepfather. Your stepfather killed her? Yeah. What's your stepfather's name? Um, Lawrence Brummel. Lawrence Brummel? Yeah. Why he killed her? Why you think he killed her? I don't know. Cause some... I don't really know. Mm -hmm. And then... They had an argument or so? Yeah. And then... Uh, my child first stop you and he go for a joke me. And then I move aside. Then I try to stop him and he still continue joking and she ain't joking. So. Coming to you live from 57 Durban Street Lodge where 32 year old Nicola Wilson was stabbed to death by her boyfriend who is a plumber and we now see it's pretty dark in this area but some other family members who just got the word of the murder are flocking the scene Sometimes, you know, maybe they don't want to see you cry, so a tear might shed and they're going to stand up and they're going to analyze. But I never hear a man ball for his sister the way that I heard the brother of this young lady, Nicola. Let's call her name. Her name is Nicola. Um, 
and he bawls your name and he scream and he oh my lord I never hear a mom bawl so and it hurt it hurt as I watched this live I started to get angry it's like a righteous anger because I understand what is happening and now as I was watching the live I thought that you see this you see God God is an awesome God and he's a loving God and he warned us before things are about to happen and remember the video that I posted asking people to pray for Guyana this is before the Shana, the Shana Dover thing and I remember my mom was telling me that she was missing and I'm like you know me and my, my carnal thoughts I was like ma she must be done by some man or something because usually that's what you know the first thing that you think which is bad you know but I remember in prayer the Lord telling me to pray for Guyana and after I put out that video I remember maybe a few days later Sharon's mall burned down I saw a clip one day last week where um, on this page they posted one big fight it looked like some part of your and then they put another clip with another fight between a man and another man and then they put another clip with a fight with a man and another man then they showed this video of Sharon's mall burning down to the ground and then they showed a clip of a video with a cop chick looking look like they were chasing after some suspects and something <clears throat> I'm like what in the world is going on like in all this chaotic stuff clip after clip and then this situation and now this situation you know many people would say when is it gonna stop why are men like this why are men doing these things to the women and you know these are legitimate questions however we got to remember that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and r the rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places. I've been listening to Joshua Selman for the past couple of weeks and it has been such a tremendous help in my life. And the more that, you know, I delve into, um, get closer to the Lord and really focus on my Christian life and my walk with Christ it's the more troubles that's happening in my life at the moment and yes I cried I felt sad I felt the blunt of it but I'm understanding now that it's a spiritual battle that we are in and this is why the Lord said to pray for God and he told me to pray and I put the video out encouraging other people to do the same and you know I am calling for a seven day fast for our nation we ought to really consecrate ourselves before the lord the word of god says that if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then only then he will hear from heaven forgive our sins and he will heal our land and guyana again it's a beautiful country but guyana is plagued with so plagued with so much evil evil is rampant in that nation and the principalities the the powers the enemy is having a field day and the church is just silent the church is focused on fame and i'm not saying that everybody is doing this but you know had the church been more powerful the enemy won't have his way the way that he's having his way in the country that is what is happening and that is why i'm so mad i'm mad at the devil i'm mad at i'm mad i'm mad and i'm calling for a 75 see my skin growing i'm talking about the thing i'm skin growing i'm mad we got we we got to we got to be serious as a nation we got to be serious until until Guyanese all over the world here yeah, and especially home until we humble ourselves before the mighty God and we call on him and we repent as a nation here yeah, before God for all of our sins every family 
every family everybody until we do that we're gonna continue to ask when will this end why is this happening we will always have the when and the why questions let us pray let us pray if this video makes sense to you share it i am calling for a seven day fast i'll talk to you guys later